Hi, I'm Gary and welcome to Jargon Free Help. Now, people have mentioned to me that I don't say anything about the website and the podcasts. Well, don't forget it's there, www.jargonfreehelp.com. There's tutorials there for Excel, Access, Word, PowerPoint, the iPhone, and many more coming soon. So keep an eye on that, and I just update those as quickly as I can. And I haven't updated everything as quickly as I'd like, but I'm going to be doing all that very soon, so keep a lookout next week. So this week, it's all about speeding up your broadband. And the thing you need to know is what speed you're getting. And many people complain that they're not getting the speeds that they ordered. So the way to check this is with a bit of online software. There's a website and I use speedtest.net. A lot of people use this one. And it is also available on the iPhone as well. So you can actually download a free app there and check it on that. So that's this week's app of the week out of the way already. So moving on to actually doing the test, all you need to do is go to the website or open the app and you'll see there's a button there that says begin test. Run the test, you'll see it's got like a meter on it that looks like a rev counter, and at the end of it, it will give you a speed. And this speed will be a download speed and upload speed. It should also give you a comparison of the average of what other people are getting who are on your ISP. That could be BT, Virgin, AT&T, whoever you're actually using. And then you need to look to see whether you're within reason. If you're within reason, well, then there's maybe not a lot you can do. The speed largely is determined by how far away you are from the exchange. If you're a long way and you may not know how far away you are, then you may not be able to increase the speed. Now, one thing you could do is phone up whoever your provider is and find out what speed you'd be expecting to get. They will tell you, they kind of know how far away you are and they'll give you an answer to that. Then if your speed doesn't match or is miles off, you can talk to them about what may be wrong. Now, if you want to make your broadband actually go faster, well, there's a few things you can actually do. First thing is check, is this the best package you can actually get? A lot of you are on ADSL, but there is cable, which we know in the UK Virgin provide. However, BT are now starting to provide it as well. That's their BT Infinity package, or if you're business, they call it BT Fiber. It's significantly faster. I got it recently, and for a change, they quoted that I would get 17.9 megabits per second download. I'm getting about 35. That's really, that's almost double. And that's not bad. How often do you hear that you're actually getting a speed faster than what they told you? So if you do get it, you can look to see if they've got it in your area. Just need to go to bt.com slash infinity. Check with all your providers all around the world, they're rolling this out. And we're meant to be getting it mainly this year in the UK. So do check and they're offering good prices on it too. So if speed is important, then check that out. One, make sure you're on the right package. Two, do a speed test and check with the provider that that's the speed you should be getting. If your line is dropping out a lot or it's not getting the speed you want, there are a few things you can check. Firstly, is your router plugged into an extension? One thing you could do is plug it into the master socket. Now that's normally the biggest socket somewhere near the front of the house and you can check it in there, plug it in and see if the speed improves. You should do the same thing as well if it's dropping out a lot. Extensions, whether they just be on a cable that you've got on an extension reel or even if you've had them wired in, may not be as good as you think they are. So try that out first. There are other things you can do as well. Is if you've got cordless phones like this, Make sure the base station isn't too close to the router. Move it away. You might just find that it's interfering. These do interfere with it. So moving it away might just give you a better signal as well. The other thing to do, if you're on ADSL, check that these filters are working properly as well. You might want to change them over just to see that could be a problem as well. Now, when I did have ADSL with BT, and now I'm with their fiber service, I don't need this anymore. It's a BT accelerator. And I plug that into my master socket and that cured the problems with the extensions because it cuts out all the noise going on in the background. You might have to actually speed up your computer. You might need a new computer. This is something you're going to have to address if you want to take full advantage of things like watching high definition video online. If it is stuttering and you've already got the speed that you want, this is something you're going to have to address. Unfortunately, that does mean some expense, but it's something that you can also enjoy too. And now on to this week's app of the week. Now this week's app of the week, as I've already mentioned, is speedtest.net. 
and you can download it from iTunes just by going to iTunes and searching for Speed Test. You can also go to their website speedtest.net and there's a link there to download the iPhone app as well. It does work on an iPad too and an iPod Touch. Although one thing I've noticed is that for very high speeds, like the speeds I'm now getting with BT Infinity or BT Fiber, I'm sure the same problem occurs with Virgin Media and also other cable providers, is it doesn't seem to reach the maximum speed. It just can't go fast enough. So just something to bear in mind. But if you're testing on a computer, very fast. And it will give you an indication if there is a problem there. And now a quick look at what's new on our tutorials this week. As I've mentioned, unfortunately, I'm running a little bit behind on the tutorials because so many people have asked me for specific tutorials. So I'm just catching up on all of those. However, just a little reminder, there are lots there on Excel, Access, Word and PowerPoint are all building. I've got some for the iPhone as well. So just simply go to the website www.jargonfreehelp.com and you'll notice that the tutorials are listed on the left hand side. So you just need to click on those categories and you'll see a whole load more there. Don't forget, these tutorials are for you, as are all these podcasts. So if there's anything you want to know, please drop me a line. There's contact information on the website, and I will address it as quickly as I can. This is a problem is so many of you are dropping me a line, but they are all useful. And as it happens, they are the most popular ones, the ones that I create based on your requests. So please drop me a line. Anyway, I hope you get your broadband sorted out if you are having problems with it. If not, and you know someone else who is, please pass this on. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Happy computing. Thanks for watching.